In this training scenario, we're going to show you a simple install of uh, one camera. This could be 18 cameras, a 304 plus. But once again, uh, all bridges connect the same way, so you could. This could be a 304 plus all the way up to an 820. So what we want to do first is connect everything physically. Then we'll power it up um, and attach it uh, remotely from our computer login. Uh, first things first, we're going to connect the camera to the PoE switch. Uh, we're going to uplink the PoE switch using one of the uplink ports to the cam LAN on the back of the bridge. So you'll notice that there's two network ports on the back of the bridge. Uh, the cam LAN goes out to the camera network no matter where that's at. Um, the bridge um, will then uplink to your customer's network. So. From the WAN port, we're going to connect to the customer's router, their, their network switch, however it may be. Now that we have all the uh, network cables connected, we can power up our devices. So uh, connecting the power cable to the bridge first, and then from there we can connect the PoE switch to power. Out of the box, the devices are designed to be powered on, so you don't have to flip any switches or press any buttons to get them started. Um, you'll notice on the 304 Plus, it has an OLED screen. It states right now that it's loading. Once the startup process is complete, it will switch to uh, another screen. Now that everything's physically connected, we could then log into our computer to the web UI and add the bridge and cameras from there. Now that we have your hardware physically installed, the next step is going to be to add the bridge and cameras to your customer's account. Uh, to do so, you'll need to log in to your Eagle Eye Networks account, and you should be logging in as a reseller. So from here, uh, you can see all of your customer's accounts. So to access it, I simply need to click this eyeball icon. That'll take me into this brand new account. So brand new accounts look a little different than uh, an existing account. Uh, there's no bridges or anything added just yet. If this were an existing account, it would look more like this, um, have all the existing bridges and cameras added. Um, but to add a bridge here, it'd be the same exact thing. You simply click the plus button here at the top right corner and enter the attach ID. Once you enter the attach ID, you enter the bridge name. I'm gonna just name this one training. So I'll hit save changes. And at this point, we just need to wait for the bridge to come online. Um, it's doing a few things in the back end to attach to the cloud, so just give it a moment. Uh, you'll notice this status icon, um, it'll eventually turn green. Okay, now that the bridge status is now green, um, it's searching the, the network for cameras, and they will show up here under available cameras. So to add the camera to this bridge, uh, this bridge training, uh, we simply click the green plus button, um, this is an eagle eye camera, so there, it comes out of the box, you know, you know set up, you know, basically ready to plug and play. But for third party cameras, um, you will need to make sure that they have DHCP turned on and their on BIF is configured. Uh, some of them come out of the box that way, some of them don't. Um, if you look at our quick start guide that comes in the box with the bridge, uh, there's instructions for each of the different manufacturers. So from the eagle eye camera standpoint, we simply just need to hit save. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and the camera is now online. You can tell by the green status icon. A uh, quick hint here, if you click that green status icon, it'll give you the camera view. So from there, we can go to the camera settings uh, under actions here. Click there. We can rename it. Um, we can add any tags that we may need to. Notes are really important for the future. Uh, we can see that it's set to its retention. And um, this one gives us a list of different resolutions we can set it to. So if that's something that we need to change for this camera, uh, you can go ahead and do it here. We'll go ahead and uh, save the changes here. And that's it. That's the basics of installing Eagle Eye Bridge and cameras. From here, we can manage everything else remotely.